Prince Harry's youth projects in Nottingham are waiting to hear how they'll be affected by his shock decision to step back from royal duties. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been heavily involved with a number of inner city charities in St Anne's. Well, now that it seems the couple want to build more community projects across the globe, our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports. A sprinkling of royal stardust in a deprived inner city community, Prince Harry describes St Anne's as a place that's very special to him. So special, it's where he chose to bring his fiancée on her first official royal visit. And today, their decision to pull back from frontline royal duties prompted a mixed response here. He's a prince, isn't he, at the end of the day, and obviously he's got to do his duty with the Queen. So, I don't know. I just don't know how, that can, how he can do that. It's disgusting. They bought that house and spent thousands and thousands on it. Now they're going to leave it. Taxpayers again. It's almost seven years since Prince Harry's first royal visit to St Anne's, here at the community recording studio, he's built close relationships, returning publicly and privately again and again. His mentoring project, called Full Effects, was first set up to tackle gang violence, but now it's creating opportunities and the confidence for this community to help itself. That's something the Duke and Duchess of Sussex want to do more of in the future. Their new website talks about creating similar models globally and the hope here that that work will continue back in St Anne's. They've had a big impact in St Anne's and I believe they're still going to do what they're going to do. And like I said, I wish them all the best in the choice they make in life. It affects St Anne's in a way because it's a royal family and what they don't want is another outsider coming in trying to fill his shoes. And whatever the future holds for the royal couple, they won't be forgotten here and they'll leave a lasting legacy. Well, Jeremy's joined us in the studio. So how might this affect the couple's work in Nottingham? That's a big question tonight. I think uh, particularly at places like the Nottingham Academy and the community recording studio, places right at the heart of the royal couple's charity work in St Anne's. Now, today, both of those organisations have told me that they can't comment on this development. Not surprising, perhaps, when you consider all the sensitivities around this. I think, though, this could go either way because, of course, on the one hand, the couple are going to spend a lot more time time overseas, they're pulling back from their official duties. On the other hand though, those links in St Anne's have now become personal, they built real friendships there um, and the couple say they also want to build more of these kind of community led projects. So you know, is this going to actually free them up to get more involved? We'll find out, their website says, in due course. Okay, Jeremy, thanks very much.